Hello there, my name is Paul Ellis and I run a cookery school in West Sussex. And what you're going to see today is only a snip of what we can do. Have a look, the food is absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice. I've got plain flour or an all-purpose flour. I've got um, an egg um, and milk mixture and I've got some natural breadcrumbs. So there's a process of actually coating your fish. So I'm going to show you very quickly. So here's my flour, here's my egg and milk. Break the egg through there. And this just gives us a nice coating for our um, for our fish. So if you want to add any spice or any herb to your mix, it's no problem at all. It's all about adding flavour to it. I'm just gonna season my breadcrumbs as it's the last, that's the last one, so it'll coat quite nicely over our little fish. As flavour, so you can add some, add some dill to it, add some turmeric to it, add some cayenne to it, or some chopped chilies. It's entirely up to it. So here we go, straight into our flour mixture. And this is called a panne. So I've seasoned the flour as well, uh, and I've lightly seasoned the breadcrumbs. So we've got plenty of flavour now. I've kept it completely natural. There's no other spices. But like I said, you can add dill, you can even add a lemon to, to, our, to our wet mixture here. So again, just coating that with the flour through our egg and milk. Sometimes it's nice to have that extra pair of hands, just to sort of keep one hand um, nice and dry. I'm just going to try and keep it one hand nice and dry. So here we have our coated, coated prawn there. Now with this fish as well, you could you can make a batter up. You can do like a tempura or a batter, that's another option as well. Or you can just pan fry it off. It's, uh, again, it's, a, it's an option. But this is one way of, you know, of, of, of just of, of doing the your fish. So I've got my oil to temperature, not too hot. Don't want it burning. Always having your prawn away from you as well. Here we go. Absolutely, just ticking over there quite nicely now. Always away from you, don't want to splash yourself. And these will literally just take literally under a minute. I mean, all, all we're looking to do is brown the breadcrumbs and take them out. It's literally seconds. Again, I mean, these, these can be deep fried. I'm actually just gonna just slightly shallow fry them. And we go, got a nice little color coming from there now. They start to cover too quickly, then it tells you your oil's too hot. So you have to make sure that your, your oil is just at the right temperature for frying. So we're looking at about uh, 160. Um, temperature wise, nice little colour there and they've gone in literally for less than a minute and I'll take that out just to check one, see where we are. If you're not too sure, let I me mean, just take one out, take it off, perfect, absolutely really nice, nice and white inside, I'm going to take them out, take my pan off, drain all the excess oil off, just making sure your pan is completely off, absolutely fantastic on there, just taking all the, all the excess oil from the prawn. Like I said, whatever you want, if you want to add, on, add a bit of lemon to that, a bit of lime to that, have a little chili dip, mayonnaise, coriander, it's entirely up to you, and that's how I cook my scampi.